Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are not filming a DIY video today. Today I wanted to share some of the things that I have bought for DIY projects and I have recently got into rummage sales and garage sales so I kind of want to share that with you and I don't really think anybody on YouTube really does that like they usually do hauls from like oh Urban Outfitters, Brandy Melville, Victoria's Secret and those are all great but I want to see what you can get at rummage sales and garage sales because things are super original there like you're not going to find them in stores so I just wanted to share some of the interior stuff and some clothes that I got um, recently so yeah let's get into it okay so the first things first is interior so I'm gonna go through the things that I got at a rummage sale and I'm just gonna go through the prices and go through why I thought of buying it so let's get to it so the first thing that I saw was this like collage kind of um, frame and I thought it was really unique and it's really lightweight which I like so I can like set it on a table and not have it fall down and crack because it's not glass this is plastic so I like that about it I'm probably gonna repaint it and put some pictures in it but I don't have any pictures this size so I'm gonna have to print them out at this size but I think it's really cute and I'm probably gonna use it by my desk and I, I believe that this was a dollar so I mean it's pretty good for a dollar I think um, the next thing I got was this weird thingy bobber it's like it looks like a leaf and I just put these things in it right now but it's it looks like a leaf bowl and it's like hot pink and I was thinking of repainting it but it kind of matches my desk area so I might just keep it the way it is but I bought two of these but the other one is in my kitchen because I use it for fruits but yeah this is super cool and I think it's it was only 25 cents for both of them so that, that was a steal um, what else we have? Oh, this. I bought this really cool antique mirror. I'm sorry if I'm blinding you, but it's a really cool antique mirror, and I believe that this was $2, I think. Yeah, $2. And the mirror isn't that scratched up. I just need to like clean it up. I was thinking of like hanging it on the wall or using it as a tray. You could do it either way. And it also comes off at the back like a frame so you could even use this as a frame if you didn't want the glass so I thought it was really versatile and I could play around with it but for now I think I'm just gonna use it as a tree and I believe I got one more thing um, let me let me just go get it so I also got this like I don't know what it's called but like these flashcard holders so it's like basically an accordion and it has all these flashcards in it and I thought it was really good for school and this was 25 cents so I got all of those things from the rummage sale and now I'm moving on to garage sale interior stuff so these are the things that I love the most I didn't get a lot because there wasn't very many things that I was interested in but I got all of these things and I'm in love with them I'm like obsessed so the first thing I have are these two dream catchers so the story behind these is I was looking at them and I was like hmm I remember when I used to have dream catchers and I just like lost them I don't know where they went but I lost my dream catchers and I was looking at these and I was like, hmm, I should buy it. But dream catchers are like super, super duper expensive sometimes. So I was like, oh, it's probably going to be so expensive, I can't buy it. And so I was looking at both of them, deciding what, which one I liked better so then I could ask the lady how much it was. The lady saw me contemplating which one to get and she was like, oh, you know, if you can't decide which one you want, just take both for a dollar. And I was like, what? 
Like these are so pretty. Like I like the pattern of this one. I didn't really like how this this part looked. And I liked how this part looked and I didn't really like this one. <laughs> I picky, I know. So I just got both of them and they really look good together. And I hang them up over there. That's why you don't see it. But yeah, I took them down for this video. But I think they're really cool and they add a boho feel to your room. So I was really happy about those. Okay, so the next thing I got was also a dollar. And I could not believe it's like almost as big as me. <laughs> So it's this really cute um, frame and it's real glass this time and I really like the pattern of the frame. It reminds me of like a super chic like mansion type of thing and I, I just love how it looked honestly. And you can hang it this way or this way. I chose to put it this way and I have pictures of my sister when we were little, when we were like middle aged and I'm going to put a picture now. I just have to out but yeah that is how I think I'm gonna do it I'm gonna hang it on the wall and I think it would look really good with a new sheet of paint maybe but yeah this was only a dollar I believe it looks like super cheap and last but not least I got this really cool nightstand that you can see inside of my background and it's four squared and you can stack it up and down side to side or just separate and I love how versatile it is and it has like a, a pull out shelf and I'll probably insert a clip here of how it looks and I just really like how it looks and it incorporates into my room it brings a nice like light feel into my room and I really like it okay so now moving on to clothes and this was all from the rummage sale I didn't get any clothes from garage sale because I was kind of like looking more for interior so I got this bag and it's a Puma bag and Puma bags are usually really expensive I don't really know how much this one retails for it is a little bit you know it's a little worn but I think it was okay and I needed a new PE bag so I just bought it and this was I believe a dollar so I was like steal give me that um the next thing I got um is clothes now so I saw this dress and I really really liked it I didn't know if the top part would fit me well but it's this really cute dress I don't even know if you can see that can you okay well it's like the top is like a bustier kind of thing I don't even know how, if that's how you say it but the top is really cute and it has like this cut in the middle and it zips down on the side um, right here it zips down on the side let me show you there you go and then it clips on the top and it is a little tight but because it's so cute I, I wear it anyway <laughs> and I think it's really cute the material I thought it would really be itchy but inside there's this under part and it's like chiffon so it's not even that itchy and I really like it the back is like stretchy like this and we have a thing at our rummage sale our school rummage sale where the last like at the last hour um, when everything is closing up they have like a five dollar fill up bag so me and my mom went to the rummage sale and we just like piled things into our bags and so I basically got that for $5 and all these other things with my mom and my sister. And we got a lot of things for $5. So yeah, you never know. If you, if you, Even if you're garage selling, like people who really want to get rid of their stuff, maybe they'll do that. So who knows. The next thing I got was actually my mom's. Um, well, I picked it for her. But it's just really professional, like just plain gray blouse. Um, and I, I thought it was really cute, like for her because she works and stuff. But she actually said that it didn't fit her, so she gave it to me. And I think it looks really cute if I'm gonna go to like a college fair or interview or something professional. Um, and that 
also was in the $5. Then I got this like 3 4 quarter sleeve striped shirt and I think it's really really cute for like the nighttime when you're sleeping and you could even crop it to make it look like a brand new bevel shirt but I just wanted to keep it this length just in case I needed to wear it to school so that was also part of the $5 and um, the next thing that I got was this really really cute blouse and I think it's like my favorite if you guys follow my Instagram you guys will would have seen me wear this and I just like how it has like the lace detailing and this really nice chiffon transparent material but you have to wear something underneath of course and it has like the, sh the cold shoulders and the cut out here and I just really love that for summer okay and then I also got this other top that's like really really summery and it has like chevron also transparent has cut out in the back and in the front and I think it's really cute for summer as well and the last to the second to the last thing that I have is these old navy shorts and I was thinking that I could like fray the bottom more decorate the pockets and make it light wash but instead of doing that I think I'm gonna keep it as my like crafty pants because then I could put paint all over it and ha not have to worry. And the last thing that I have to show you guys is this really cute um, long sleeve and it's really warm, it's thin material so you can still wear it here because it's super hot every day and you can still wear it. And it reminds me of like the Brandy Melville one so I really really love it and it's like my favorite, favorite thing ever. Um, but yeah, that's everything in my hurl or haul. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching my video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this haul or hurl video. And I really hope that you guys feel inspired to, like, you know, buy things from Remit Sales and buy things from thrift stores and garage sales. And I think it's a good way to save money and also buy things that nobody else has. So your room and your wardrobe can be original as you are. So um, if you guys buy anything that you would like to share with me, share with me, I can't talk today. <laughs> um, then use the hashtag buyforless underscore 21 and I can see what you guys got instead of making a haul video of your own but if you do then just link your video down below and i'll check it out so yeah thank you guys so much again and i'll see you guys next week bye it's a rummage last on my left hand side or right hand side for you i don't know hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys for no I'm just kidding Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Really? Okay. Okay. Should I do that more often? I think it's cooler than just that because it's so basic. I literally always think of the hashtags like right on the spot. I should probably think of them in advance. Huh. But... I didn't know if it would fit me because, you know, I'm, I'm part of the, a club, you know, called the, I don't even know if I should be saying this, Little Titty Committee, <laughs> um, like, t-shirt or cami, whatever the, f at omg underscore kkiiannaa.